Hi there and welcome to Live Crypto YouTube channel where I'm talking about uh, the most promising ICO of uh, this year and today I'm gonna tell you about LTO Network. LTO Network, a blockchain platform, enables organization and governments to collaborate equally by integrating existing apps and system, increasing security and transparency while maintaining data privacy and uh, GDPR compliance. What is uh, LTO uh, network? Uh, LTO network, a, a blockchain platform, enables people to participate in the legal system without the need to rely on layers or blindly trusting organization and governments. The most important mission of uh, this project is to realize a legal system that is fair to all individuals involved. Legal Things one pur purposes uh, the use of smart contracts to eliminate uh, bureaucracy, fraud and favoritism and create a favor legal system. A legal thing, uh, Things uh, uh, one allows uh, business uh, and governments to organize a decentralized in, in inter-organization process, maintaining full GDPR uh, regulation that requires business to protect the personal data and privacy compliance and uh, confidentiality. Uh, below, uh, below are some outstanding features of the new legal system. Uh, independence uh, clients will participate in a legal system free of intermediaries who, besides charging hefty fees, usually mislead uninformed individuals. Efficiency life contracts will facilitate the automation of uh, agreements and was without uh, delegation all access to the machines. Reduce fraud, uh, all events and data will be stored in a credible and immutable way. Uh, mitigating fraud and eliminating bureaucracy at the same time. How does LTO, LTO network do? Uh, as mentioned earlier, LTO network allows people to participate in the legal system without the need to rely on layers or blindly trust an organization and governments by using trustless processes. Essentially, any business uh, process, uh, BPM or legal agreement can be automated via the live contracts protocol communicated, uh, communicating extended uh, finite state matching, mechanism. While other organizations run numerous business processes which can define the rules of a workflow, visual it as a flowchart or BPMN diagram in LTO, a workflow is expressed um, as a deterministic extended uh, finite state machine, uh, FSM, also known as live contracts. Live contracts allow automation uh, of agreements and laws without giving full control to the machines. Uh, similar to smart uh, contracts, live contracts provide a dynamic method uh, for defining logic on the blockchain. However, the purpose of a live contract is not only to determine state but also to actively instruct humans and computers about steps in a workflow. Besides smart contracts, in Ethereum, uh, in Ethereum contain value while live contracts do not directly hold value but describe how two or more parties should in interact. LTO blockchain uh, allows organization to run this workflow in a decentralized way known as decentralized workflows, enables each party to participate and use their own nodes. Collaboration parties can share information on chain or off chain, such as documents or linked data. Uh, linked data. Now, what's more, uh, LTO platform creates a special private blockchain for each live contract such a blockchain does not uh, intend to serve as an immutable uh, ledger like other ones but to ensure all parties have a recorded history of events and shared states.
there a full description about hybrid network, uh, uh, in the, uh, information about private data, even chain and uh, global, and also about global public chain and uh, about uh, miniature private blockchain. By storing events and information in a variable and immutable way, they reduce both fraud and bureaucracy. The blockchain use a newly developed uh, list proof of importance uh, to avoid post-centralization and use NG protocol proposed to reduce uh, the scalability issues on Bitcoin and latency. While most public blockchain focus on smart contracts and scripted logic, which will make them slow, inefficient, inefficient and overly expensive for simple transactions like unchoring, LTO network follows logic similar to Bitcoin's SegWit. It means that not all data needs to be kept by all nodes forever. The main difference between LTO network and other platforms is the combination of the ad hoc permissionless private chains and, uh, uh, and a permissionless public uh, chain. Uh, the private layer provides organization which all the tools necessary to apply the blockchain to their business while the public permissionless layers offers a decentralized method of protecting data integrity of the private layer. Uh, the economic value is actually present in the public chain there, uh, the, uh, where uh, the assets and share of the network are distributed globally and uh, are represented in tokens. The result of uh, such a sit uh, setup is uh, that adoption brought uh, to the network by the Solution Express, in particular private chain, has direct implications and on the uh, token value based on the economic assumptions. Company integrators are economically incentivized to become a uh, joint businesses, uh, builders and acquire a part of network for stacking. The product compromise of both private and public layers creates and captures values. The private layer creates value from the business's uh, perspective and the public layer captures uh, it from the economic representative. Also uh, here you can find a, a trial for the uh, entering REST IP and uh, also the links to um, uh, documentation papers um, a few words i uh, want to say uh, about a roadmap uh, uh, they haven't realized their official timeline yet but uh, so in this part i just list some activities they did in the past and some uh, they are doing a legal things, things company has started in uh, 2014 uh, we can see uh, the development pro process during over three years these repositories frequently frequently updated on the github uh, there is uh, legal things uh, github and uh, you can find this user and uh, you can find uh, A date when uh, when it was started and all last activities you see uh, uh, there is a repository this is from 2015 also um, uh, in August uh, uh, 2017, they launched Supercell, which finished in December. During this round, they raised uh, 1.4 million U uh, U dollars from enthusiastic early supporters. The plan date for crowd sale is in mid autumn uh, 20, uh, mid autumn or uh, mid uh, uh, January. Um, testnet is already running, and mainnet will be launched along the beginning. Uh, 20. 2019. LTO 
token um, LTO token uh, uh, is initially a wave based uh, token uh, so uh, they uh, sorry uh, about tokenami let's check uh, LTO token uh, LTO token is initially a wave based token so they are tradable on waves dex uh, the token will be tra uh, transferred to an uh, ERC20 the, uh, then they will launch uh, their own mainnet the members institution can host their full node for, by holding LTO tokens for small scale users they can integrate legal things IP into their enterprises uh, software which gives them the autonomy to offer both normal and smart contracts to their uh, customers. Uh, clients may lend uh, their tokens to exchange for an increased interaction limit by leasing tokens member directly interact with their live contracts without relying on the central uh, mode. Uh, token metrics. Actual LCO token metrics are still under discussion because they have been working on collaborative with other projects and adjusting a lot of things with regard to the functionality of the LTO platform. And how you can see on this uh, document, there is no token metrics, but I hope it will appear soon. Uh, okay, and at the and a few words about team. Uh, there is a, there are uh, members listed in LTO team. They are from famous university like Erasmus University Rotterdam, Hoja School, Harlem University of Groningen, Amsterdam University, and Applied Science. Uh, Rick Schmitz, uh, CIO. Rick has been working on some well-known organizations like PVC, Deloitte as a private equity M&A tax layer. He is also the founder of the successful Dutch startup Film24 and Legal Things. Uh, Arnold Daniels, lead architect. Arnold is such a well-experienced web, web and blockchain developer with over 20 years of experience uh, and a certified iOS architect. Previously, he is a lead software engineer in Cloud9 IDEA. He has also worked at Proactive Software uh, in Netherlands as a software engineer. And then our other members of the team. Uh, uh, that's all. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.